everybody, it's Christina with Elkhart County 4-H Dog Club and welcome. We're happy that you're here and I just wanted to get started on some of the things that you guys can be working at home with your dogs and your puppies um, going into 4-H this year. We know that's a little different so thank you for being patient with us as we work through getting things together. Okay, so working with your dog on having you know, getting your dog and yourself to have a good bond. A great way to do that is um, by making your dog wait for food. So instead of just filling that food bowl, throwing it on the floor, and you know, letting your dog have a free for all, if you actually require your dog to ask, or not ask for permission, but wait for permission to eat their food, you're gonna start seeing a better bond with you and your dog. So today I have Kane with me. Typically I do this in a crate. Um, if you have multiple dogs at home, it's always a great idea to feed them in a crate just for safety reasons. Um, but I wanna do this video outside of a crate just in case you are not crating your dog, you can see what this looks like. So what I'm going to have is Kane. He's a four month old uh, Labrador puppy. So this is really, like he's done one time of food protocol in his crate. So I thought he would be a good puppy to demonstrate this with. It doesn't even have to be a puppy, it can be an older dog. So if you're just starting out and you have an older dog and you have experienced it just kind of going crazy when it's breakfast time or dinner time, um, this is a great way to start working on getting that focus and um, just getting your dog to look for you for direction. So this is gonna be a, a big part in you know, your overall dog training. So this is called either, like I said, food protocol or just having your dog wait for food. You don't have to get all technical about it. Um, so today, like I said, we're gonna be outside of a crate. Kane works, uh, or excuse me, he doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> he eats out of a slow feeder with water in it. And that's just to slow him down a little bit, just give him a little bit longer, um, give him some um, things to work on getting his kibble instead of just scarfing it all down. So if you have a dog at home that is like scarfing its food, you can get a slow feeder um, at the store and then just try the slow feeder by itself. Or if that doesn't slow them down enough, go ahead and just pour some water over their food and that just slows them down even more because they're gonna lap up that water and get their kibble at the same time. So King's actually being really great. He's just laying here like he's a big trained dog, but he's really pretty crazy. So like I said, he's only four months old and we're gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys how to do that. So you're gonna want your dog's kibble, it's food, and obviously your dog. Um, typically dogs aren't running off when you are working on this because they're hungry, so they're gonna stay in your area. If your dog is running off to do something else, just put a leash on it. Um, keep it in your area. So we have Kane off leash because he's ready to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and grit his food and show you guys how to get started. Okay, so it's great also to train your dogs with marker words. So we um, like to use yes, as in you're doing what I want, and no or nope, um, if they're doing what you don't want. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start to put the food down. If your dog comes to the food bowl, you're gonna pull it straight back up. You're gonna say nope and pull it back up or no and pull it back up. Um, the second that they like don't pay attention, we're gonna walk through this whole process with them. Then you're gonna say yes and you're gonna put that food on the floor and then you just let your dog eat. Walk away, the exercise is over. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, depending on your dog, um, you can stand up, you can kneel down. Um, if your dog is in your face, you're gonna to wanna to stand up. We're just gonna see with Kane, I'm gonna just decide what I wanna do as I'm doing it. Cause like I said, this is his really second time doing food protocol. Um, he's done it one other time in the crate. So we're gonna just give this a try and see how long it takes. So if he comes to go for it, I should maybe have gotten food without water and I just practice this out here. So he's gonna be, I'm probably gonna get down here maybe with him. We're gonna to go to put, no, and you're gonna take it away. <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna get actually food without water because I'm going to make a mess. I'm about right here, you guys can see pretty good. So you're going to have your dog, it's kibble in its bowl. And like I said in the video, um, Kane typically eats out of a slow feeder with water, but for this exercise, so you guys can see, and I'm not spilling water everywhere, 
Um, so if you do have a dog that needs that, you might not start this exercise with the um, slow feet or with the water because they may make a huge mess. Oh, we just lost distraction. Come here, Kane. Boop, 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 boop. Dogs went by the back window. Come on, good job. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And all you're going to do is you're going to put their food down. And then if they go to get it, you're going to say no or nope. And you're going to pull it straight back up and you're going to try again. So um, I think I'm going to kneel down with him and I'm just going to start like that and see. And this is maybe what your dog's doing at home. You can't let them get it. Good. 
and then break or yes, whatever your release word is going to be. Um, and then you're going to let your dog eat. You can get creative with this. I did not hold the video out for like a whole minute or, you know, this also helps with you know, like your sit stays or your down stays, getting some duration with your dog. You can start adding time um, when you get to this point when your dog's understanding what you want it to do. Uh, you, know, you can get up to a minute. I've heard some people that, you know, put their dogs in a sit, they will make their coffee, they get their breakfast ready, the dogs have to stay in a sit, and then when that's done, then, you know, they go drink their coffee. I don't even know if you can hear me over this crazy guy eating, <laughs> but he also eats in a slow feeder too. Uh, obviously super happy. But, you know, just get creative with it. Um, add some time on, but it's gonna take you a little bit to get to this point. Um, so just keep working at it, like I said, a little bit each day, depending on how many times you feed. If it's just once, then you're doing this once a day. Or you can break those meals up and, you know, you can do this in your training sessions too.